In my last video, I showed you how I get my low content book ideas, where I find my ideas. And in this video, I'm going to show you what to do with those ideas. How do I do my niche research and my keyword research? So have a look at the video. Hello, home bosses. My name is Nuria Corby from thehomeboss.com. Welcome to my channel, which is all about helping you to make money online. And if that sounds interesting to you, please consider subscribing so that you can get more videos like this. Oh, and click the notification bell as well. So today I want to show you how I do my niche and keyword research once I've found a good idea for a book. And in my previous video, I showed you how I look for ideas, where you can find ideas. And today we're going to do the second step, which is really finding the, the keywords and the niche for our book idea. So let's go on the screen share and I show you exactly how I would do it. So in my last video, we produced a, a list of 16 ideas. So if you've got a list of ideas that you have searched for on Amazon, what you do is you take your list and you just go through them all and check out the keywords and the niches for all of them. So my first one, I've got my list here. So my first one was a diet planner. So all you have to do is you just type in diet planner into amazon.com, make sure that your address is set to the US if that's where you are planning to sell. So I've got my US address set here and I've typed in diet planner in the all category. And I know a lot of people still ask me, why do you look in the all category and not in the book category? The reason we look in the all category is because that's where our customers search. When you go on Amazon to search for something that you want to buy, you don't look at the different or most people don't look at the different categories. They just type it into all and we want to get the same results as our customers. So that's why we search in all. And uh, I've typed in diet planner and I've got the self publishing Titans extension installed into Chrome. You can do it without you don't need any tools really, but this just makes it so much easier and it's free. And there are two extensions. One is the uh, drop down extension that the suggestion extension and the other extension shows you the rate for the keyword. So let's have a look at this drop down first. So I've typed in diet planner and I'm getting a few suggestions here. Diet planner 2021, diet planner pad, diet planner for weight loss. So some of the things we don't have to click on because we can't produce a diet planner pad, for example, we can only produce um, paperback books. So, but we could click on diet planner for weight loss. Diet planner for women is a possibility. So what you need to do is you just need to go through each one and check out what the rating is. So I'm just going to click on diet planner and let's see what happens. So now I've got all the results and I'm waiting for this extension to show me the score for this niche. But while I'm waiting, I'm just going to have a quick look and see what we've got. So a lot of these are not paperbacks. They are proper planners with a little rubber band to keep them closed. So we can't produce anything like that. So we really want to see the ones that we can produce. Um, this looks like a um, paperback book. So we can already see that a lot of them have got quite a lot of reviews and when they have a lot of reviews, that means we're competing against very established books. So I'm not quite sure if this niche is going to be good enough, but let's have a look and see what our niche score is telling us. It's still loading. So I'm just going to wait for this to load. And now it's given us a score of 43. And if you hover over the question mark, it tells you that we're really looking for a score of 60 or higher but sometimes it's still worth looking at a niche. Don't forget that all of these tools are just for guidance. It doesn't mean that you can't produce a book in this niche. It doesn't mean that it's impossible. 
it's a guide. It's to give you advice or to show you, you know, what is the situation in this niche. And I see a lot of people posting their screenshots of this on Facebook groups and they have found maybe a niche with um, a score of 75% or 70% and they're asking should I publish in this niche? I don't understand why people are asking. It's free to produce a book on KDP. Just try, you know, this, the whole KDP business, the whole niche research, the whole keyword research, I think people are very um, stuck on the idea that they have to find a really good niche with a good score. This is just a guide and it's free to produce a book so you you can just try you know I produce a lot of books just trying different niches and I don't always go for the best results if I like a certain niche and I know a little bit about the niche then I I tend to produce a book in that niche and they do very well sometimes so this is just a guide don't be too fixated on your scores and on your research produce as many books in different niches and try what works. Sometimes it's not all about keyword research. But saying that, let's do our research in the way that is recommended and see what we can find. So this one here, 43 um, score, it's not great, but let's see what else there is. The number of results is 3,472. That's not too bad. I mean, of course, we're looking for niches where the number is under a thousand that would be ideal but you know that's um, not always possible so to me that is still a good result the average price is good it gives you quite a, a good margin so you could price your book at 6.99 or 7.99 or 8.99 and you would still be below the average price which is really good the average bsr is 246,000. Now, I think that's quite good because anything that's about 200,000, 300,000, they're not selling every day, but they are selling enough books to make it worthwhile. So some people ask me, well, what is the average BSR that we're looking for? Well, there's two ways of looking at this. If the average BSR is really low, it means that there's a lot of competition and that the other books are selling a lot. Um, and if the average BSR is very high, then that could mean that it's not worth publishing in that niche because maybe they're not really selling in that niche and maybe there's no demand. So you have to use your common sense. Don't think of it as a number that you have to produce. This is a guide, you know, you could have, depending on the niche, you could have a high number here and you could still produce a book with good results. You could have a low number here and you can still produce a good book with good results. It really depends on the niche, on the book and a little bit of common sense, you know, look at everything together, look at uh, the books as well and study them and see if this is a good result or not. For me, from experience, I would still create a book in this niche because I think that um, 246,000 is a good BSR. They don't sell every day, these books. Some of them will, some of them won't. Don't forget it's an average. So some of these books will do really well, some maybe not so well. The average reviews is quite high. Now, this is the one that really tells me maybe I won't produce a book in this niche because if they've got so many reviews, it's going to be hard competing against the books. But let's have a look at the books and let's see what happens. So here is one that has over nearly 2000 reviews. So that is quite high. Um, let's have a look what else we can see. They've all got a lot of reviews. So I think I agree with my initial thought that the reviews are slightly too high for me and I will probably not create a book in this niche. So diet planner, just diet planner for me would be too, too much competition. So this is what you do. You go through each keyword or each um, idea and you type it in 
and you do a bit of research. So what else can we look at? So let's have a look at the drop down. So diet planner we know is a little bit too much competition. We could do diet planner for weight loss. So let's click on this one. Research is really spending a long time clicking on different things and finding out what what is going on. So that is research. There's no quick way to do it, unfortunately, but that's what you have to do. So so now we've got diet planner for weight loss. Let's see if this is any better. Let's wait and see for this to load. Sometimes it can take a little bit of time to load, but that's because this tool is searching all of Amazon. So it's quite a lot of um, research that it's doing for us. So don't worry about it taking too long. It's doing its work. So this one is a little bit better. This has a score of 57. So let's have a look what else we can find out. The number of results is much lower than the one we had before, 1865. So to me that is quite good because it's going closer to that result of 1000 that we're looking for, or we're looking for less than 1000. The lower this number, the better. The average price is very good. Again, we can price our books at 8.99, 9.99 even, and we're still lower than the average price. The average BSR again is good. I think a, a BSR of 200,000 is really good. It's not too um, it's not too high that you think there's going to be a lot of competition. So I think that is a, a fairly good result. And the average reviews is still very high. So we're really competing against established books. Let's have a look at the books. Let's see what we can find out. It's the same sort of books we saw earlier. So again, we're just competing with established books. So even though this score is higher, I would probably still not use this niche. It's up to you. This is a guide only. I keep repeating that because people are too hung up on the research results and you can still make a book in this and try you know there's nothing to stop you and sometimes it works out so but for me I think let's go through the list let's see what else we can find out so we tried diet planner we tried diet planner for weight loss let's see if there's any other ones diet planner for weight loss for men so we're niching further down let's wait and see what the score tells us for this one now this one is really low so I'm not even going to look here because I think it's already telling me what I need to know. There's so many results, um, the reviews are still very high. I imagine if I change this um, into diet planner weight loss for women I will get something very similar. So we know that these niches are quite, quite competitive but I'm going to try anyway just to see what's going to happen. So this one has a score of 44, which is slightly better. But again, you know, look at the number of reviews, the average reviews, very high again. So we know this is competitive. So what else can you do once you've gone through your whole list of um, this drop down? What else can you do and how can you find another niche in this area, in this for this book idea so what you could do is you you have a little think and we've looked at diet planner diet planner for men diet planner for women diet planner for weight loss so what else can you think of if you think of someone on a diet what do they want to do well some people want to lose weight quickly so you could try diet planner for quick weight loss let's try that so that's just one that we can think of ourselves and and have a look and see what happens so we'll wait for this to load so this has given us a much better score so just by changing one word you can see how how much better this keyword is so diet planner for quick weight loss yes I would make a book there so that is how you would research and by changing a few words, you can find better keywords. So let's replace quick with healthy and let's see what happens there. Diet planner for healthy weight loss. So all you have to do is just change some words 
and try different things and just find out what the results are and you just have to spend a few hours doing that because there is no other way to do your research. So let's have a look and see what happens. So this one is not very good. It's got a big red dot, which means no, <laughs> and only nine. So why is that? Let's have a look. Well, there's a lot of results. So diet planner for healthy weight loss is something that a lot of people have produced. The average price is a bit lower. Um, the average BSR is actually really high, so that's no good. And the average reviews are again very high. So this doesn't look like it's such a good keyword to use. So can you see how just changing one word can make such a big difference? And that's why it's important that you just change one word and see what you can find out. I'm trying to think of another word that we could use. What kind of weight loss could we have? Diet planner for healthy weight loss. I don't really know. I think I would then probably go through my other ideas and do the same with my other ideas. So let's have a look. What else did I write down? Let's try something completely different, a blank comic book. So the same thing again. We just type in blank comic book. And... I'll show you how, again, we do our research with that. Now, Blank Comic Book has given me a huge drop down list. There is a lot here to choose from. So what you do then is you look through this list and you click on one that you think could be a good keyword. So Blank Comic Book, we can find out, but I'm, I'm sure that's probably too broad and too generic. Blank comic book pages, blank comic book notebook. We could click on that. I'm trying to look for something a bit more unusual. Blank comic book for adults. That could be one. Blank comic book for kids. Um, let's have a look. Blank comic book. Draw your own comics, 150 pages. I'm interested in these longer keywords because long tail keywords can be a little bit better sometimes when it comes to to the results so let's have a look if i see one that i like blank comic book draw your own comic for draw your own comics for kids let's click on that one just to try like i said you have to click through most of them and do your research that way so let's just wait and see what the results are telling us and that is a terrible result i've never seen anything like like this minus 11 <laughs> so this is very interesting so this is definitely not a good niche to go into so let's go back and see blank comic book let's see what um what else we can find blank comic book for girls let's try that this is all about trying and typing in different things and having a look at the results that's that's research there is no magic formula there's no magic um, way to do it it's just doing the work so it's a really low score and the average bsr is quite high that tells me not many people are probably buying this let's just have a quick look um yep they, they look really nice actually some of them this one here looks a bit like a coloring book so but this one is i really like this one and uh, that that is exactly what it says it's a, a blank comic book for girls very pink <laughs> very girly i really like that one it's got 10 reviews um let's have a look it's hasn't got a fantastic rank but it's not too bad to me, this isn't a niche that I would go in, but let's try something else. What can we think of when we think of comic books? Um, let's try blank manga comic book, something like that. If we think of um, the type of comics that exist, so blank comic book for manga. So manga is the Japanese art style. Let's have a look and see what comes up so the score is not very good either 22 it's um too high for me to consider this but let's try something else let's try 
switching words around sometimes that sometimes that helps manga blank comic book let's try that and that is even worse minus one so i'm picking really terrible niches today but this is to show you how you would do your research and yes you will find a lot of bad niches more than the good niches but when you find a good niche that is where you can then make your book and make your money so you have to just go through this i do this myself and i, I wanted to show you how i do it because I don't want you to think that all I do is find really good niches. You don't always find really good niches. You just have to do the work and that's how hard it is. And sometimes I spend hours just on the research. So sometimes when I do this and I run out of ideas and I can't think of anything else to, to type in, I also use Publisher Rocket to help me a little bit. And like I always say, you don't need these tools. You can just spend time and come up with your own words. But these tools can help um, save time. So that's that's what it is. It saves time. And I use Publisher Rocket a lot to get ideas. And I'll show you how I do that. So this is Publisher Rocket. And then I would go on keyword search and I type in blank comic book and then I just get ideas because sometimes I just can't think of so many things to type in and this helps. So now I've got a few ideas here on the left hand side. I can click on analyze to analyze them but even just this list gives me ideas to, to maybe try some keywords. So we know that blank comic book is not a very good keyword. Um, draw your own comics, let's analyze this one blank comic book draw your own comics for girls let's let's just analyze a few of these and see see what happens putting the age in is quite good sometimes so that could be a good way to find a niche so let me put my picture out the way right let me put myself up here <laughs> so let's have a look so the competitive score needs to be as low as possible for this because um, the closer it is to zero, the easier it is to rank. So this is the opposite of uh, self-publishing titans. You want to look for a, a low score here, but you get all this other information. Blank comic book, draw your own comics. Um, the average monthly earnings is quite high. It's got a... A competitive score of 60 which isn't great this one's pretty low let's have a look blank comic book draw your own comics for kids and adults now that is a long tail keyword and that could be a good um, a good keyword to use it's only got a score of 20 so you could have this as your subtitle for example so this gives me a few more ideas and there's a blank comic book anime, blank comic book adult. I think sometimes, you know, these tools can just help you to cut down on the research time. Um, you know, that they're, they're just a guide. Like I always say, they're not completely 100% guaranteeing you that you're going to sell books, but they just help with the time that it takes to research. And you can see how long it can take to find a really good niche. So with the self-publishing Titans extension, it's free. So that's brilliant. And with Publisher Rocket, it's not free, but considering it's a one off payment, it actually has helped me quite a lot. I wasn't too keen on Publisher Rocket at the beginning because I didn't know how to use it properly but now when I use it in conjunction with other things I do find it really helpful and it cuts down on time on research time so I do use it quite a lot I just find this really good for coming up with ideas for keywords because all of these are really good long tail keywords in my opinion you know you could try any of these and see how they work so you can see how long it takes to do the research and it's just about spending time and typing in different keywords, trying long tail keywords, 
adding a word, taking away a word, and you just have to keep trying. And you can use tools like self-publishing titans, you can use Publisher Rocket, you can use BookBold, whichever tool you find useful. It won't guarantee that you are going to make sales and that you're going to find a good niche, but it just helps to cut down on the time that you spend and it gives you ideas. And very often you find a really good niche that you can publish a book in. And today I just wanted to show you the process and how much time it takes me as well. Because sometimes I, I get questions of people saying, what is a good niche or can you give me a niche? Nobody can give you a niche because you can see how long it takes to, to do the research. You have to do the research and you have to do the work. There is no magic formula to get you sales. This is how you do it. You just have to keep going through all the keywords until you find a niche that you are happy with. But it's, it's no magic. It's no trick. It's no secret. It's hard work. That's all it is. I wanted to show you how hard the process is sometimes, how, how tedious it can be and how much you have to really put in the work and search for niches, but you can definitely find them. Those niches are out there. I find good niches all the time and so can you. You just have to put in the work and find those good keywords. So I hope this has helped you and if you have any questions, put them below in the comments and I'll see you again in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.